Hi everyone, welcome to Water Carter's Tarot. So today we're looking into how are people viewing your glow up and transformation. For the same, we have three images, three piles to choose from. I'll show you the close-ups as well. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. You can pause the video, take your time and choose the image that you feel drawn to the most intuitively. Meanwhile, let's just begin with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out how are people viewing your glow up and transformation. The same we have inner wisdom. I am going to cover this up. The image. Okay. Then we have mirror that says who or what is triggering you. Here we have a woman of light, Kriya upright, the empress in reverse and we have you already have all the answers. Okay. Now pile number one there is something about your feminine energy okay and it's regardless of your gender you are coming across to be someone who is very much in touch with your emotions you are very inclined towards taking care of yourself towards mothering yourself towards making yourself your priority so the way you've glowed up i mean the vibes that you're giving off at this point of time is that you are your person and you are becoming your best self with each passing day. Every single day you are choosing yourself regardless of the outside noise, regardless of any opinion coming your way. You are your own person and you're very safe and secure within yourself. Okay. This confidence, this self-assurance is getting kind of reflected on the outside. Because I just feel that you are someone who is looking younger than before. Okay, there's some kind of glow up that has happened, especially when it comes to your physical body and your face. There's something about your face that is standing out right now and you know why there is this glow to your face that is because of the inner work that you have done and people are talking about you going through a spiritual awakening and coming out of it very very beautifully your spirituality is the talk of the town you moving towards the spiritual way of life is what people are talking about I very strongly feel that whatever your spiritual hygiene is, it's working wonders for you. Everyone's way of including spirituality in their everyday life is going to be different. But the way you've included it, the way you have applied it, the way you've made spirituality your lifestyle, it is getting reflected on the outside. So you're aging very gracefully, okay? And you've started to look younger. Your skin is looking more supple. There's a lot of glow to your face. This is the constant message that I'm getting. For those of you who are already mothers, people are in shock that you are that person who has given birth to a child because you yourself look like just a little girl is what I am getting, okay? There's something about your age that is coming in your reading time and again. And this is for everyone. Even if you are a man who's watching this reading, you do look younger than your age. You do not look the age that you are. And that is probably because you have a very young spirit. You have a very young soul. You are in touch with yourself. You might not have been this way before, but you have done the work. You have gone through that period of darkness. You have faced your shadows, okay? For a lot of you, you've done your shadow work. 
okay and that is kind of very much visible in how you're carrying yourself right now there's a lot of white light to your aura there's a lot of purity to you when you enter any room pile number one you make your presence known without even speaking a word because the vibration that you exude is very very high so people are talking about how magnetic you are there's something about your aura there are people who are not able to understand what it is about you that is so different because you are very very different and people are not able to understand you or they are not able to read you properly and that is because you are vibrating at a very high frequency now there are random people that I can sense who are bombarding your reading where they want to compliment you on not just your beauty but there are some people who feel that you are a very good mother or you are going to be a very good mother for some of you there's this crush energy that is coming to your reading who really wants to wife you up okay who wants to wife you up who wants you to be the mother of their kids or there's something around somebody looking at you and feeling that you are the it person you are the perfect marriage material okay there are people from your past who are looking at you and cannot even imagine that you're the same person that they used to know once upon a time because the kind of glow up that you've had especially when it comes to your physical appearance the way you style yourself the way you talk the way you communicate the way you carry yourself the way you take care of yourself okay you are that person who speaks or you know you spill luxury wherever you go there is a very luxurious vibe to you you are very very expensive okay people are viewing you in a way where they feel that whatever you had to deal with it's done and dusted there are people who know that you have been through some very hard times but they also know that you have come out of it beautifully and you have many people in your energy field who respect you for what you've done people genuinely feel that you're very wise for your age again wisdom has nothing to do with age okay but then i am getting this message that there are people who feel that you're very very wise very knowledgeable very experienced in spite of you not spending a really long time on this planet so probably they feel that you have certain gifts to you that are from your past life or you are an old soul you're very good at showing people the mirror the reality okay you might often feel that people just ghost you out of nowhere or they stop talking to you out of nowhere again and that is because this is like a purpose that you're living where you are going to be that catalyst to the healing journeys of the people that you are going to cross paths with and there are people in your life who are coming to this realization that you know what that is why pile number 1 was sent to my life and this is what i've learned from pile number 1 or this is what i've learned because of pile number 1 okay for a lot of you you're a light worker and you need not be a healer to be a light worker anyone can be a light worker if you are living in your most authentic form if you're just being yourself without any hesitation without any inhibition and you're just spreading light you're just spreading your magic you're just being you you are following the calling of your soul you are living your life's purpose then you are a light worker and 
you're very 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 important for a lot of people pile number one because you are meant to transform people this is your purpose your light is going to transform people and this is what you're doing this is how people are viewing you at this point of time okay how people are viewing your glow up and your transformation is that they feel that you're very very angelic and there is a spiritual being or an entity or an energy could very well be your angels and spirit guides that you communicate with that you talk to that you are in touch with and they are showing you that path because they feel your vibrations they feel very different when they are in your energy and when they are in the energy of any random person so this has made people realize that you are not just another person there's something different about you some people are able to figure out that you know you are that person who's very cosmic who is very awakened who is probably an earth angel and then there are people who are still questioning your existence and your purpose in their life how people are viewing you at this point of time is that you know you're giving me very regal very royal vibes i am getting the vibes of somebody who is who has a lot of power and a lot of people under them and even if this is not your reality you have this aura to you where you are the main character okay and people feel that you are somebody even if you are not famous even if you are doing nothing then do you give off very regal vibes i'm getting celebrity vibes from you pile number 1 and people are in awe of how you carry yourself for some of you if you are dancers if you move your body if you are into yoga people are crushing on the way you move your body or the way you walk there's something about your body posture there's something about how you dress up how you i'm just getting somebody's walk over here the way you move your hands the way you know you carry yourself the way you talk if you are somebody who is a bit caricaturish if you move your hands a lot if you are very expressive people are noticing how enchanting all of that is how mesmerizing you are how how poetic you are you're definitely somebody's muse okay and you are in sync with the universe you are in flow with the universal energy and people love how fluid you are how beautifully you flow regardless of anything that's happening in your life if you're someone who has lost your mother people are viewing you to be very very strong even though you've lost somebody that you were closest to okay some people feel that since the time your mother has left you you have become so strong and they were not expecting you to be this strong okay they were not expecting you to hold yourself so beautifully and if you have your mother by your side people feel that your mother is an integral part of your healing journey now how she is an integral part is going to be different for everyone but people are talking about your mother playing a huge role in your transformation okay for some of you you need to wear a moonstone bracelet or you can wear a moonstone pendant an anklet whatever suits you but i am getting this energy of you kind of being in that energy where you need the benefits of a moonstone okay 
you're giving me divine feminine vibes and again this is regardless of your gender there's something about you being so in sync with your emotions with your intuition with your feminine energy that whatever you do it looks like poetry it feels like poetry and you're very hypnotizing pile number 1 because you know as and when i'm reading for you i am observing that i'm getting lost and this is the energy that i am picking up on from the people who are actually hypnotized by you or your beauty or the way you carry yourself there's something about you being very neptunian there's a lot of neptune energy to you you might have a lot of water to your chart or there's something about you being ruled by neptune or neptune playing a very important role i don't know but you are that you you're out of this world i just want to tell you that people feel that you are not of this planet and probably they are right because i do feel that you are not of this planet you do not belong to planet earth for sure people feel that you are very stylish okay you're very stylish you're very unique and even though you are so so different you're not at all cocky there's a lot of humbleness to you you know you are that person who everyone feels is out of their league that is because you come across to be very intimidating you come across to be somebody who doesn't need anybody but the fact is that you're very very humble you're a beautiful human being pal number 1 there's a lot of mothering energy to you you're very caring you're very very nurturing very soft i'm getting very soft very feminine vibes even if you're a man you're very soft you are very vulnerable very gooey very emotional i'm getting some you know i'm getting that cute teddy bear kind of a vibe from you where people really want to hug you they want to be in close proximity and they just want to be in your presence they want to be around you because you make them feel good you are that feel good kind of a person if anybody is sad one word of acknowledgement from you a little bit of compassion from your end just your touch is very very healing you're giving me that mama bear kind of vibes or papa bear kind of vibes to be very honest how people are viewing your transformation is that you've stopped overextending yourself there was a time in your life where you used to chase people where you used to chase relationships connections and you might very well have been a people pleaser but now you've reached that stage in your life where you are your best friend where you're very selective with your energy you have your boundaries up you are very cautious of the people that you surround yourself with you do not sit at every table you do not consume everything that's there that's trending you're not that person you've become so in sync with yourself and with the energies of the universe that you have made your spirit guides and your angels your best friends that is how you kind of figure out your way that is how you live your life that is how you move ahead in life and maybe that is how you help people to kind of find their way so people are viewing you to be in your power where you don't need them they might need you but you are not at all in the needy energy you are in a very empowering kind of an energy where you know who you are you're confident in your mind body and spirit and you're okay being alone you're very much okay and comfortable in your energy and this not just makes you very solid but 
very, very, very attractive. And I very strongly feel that you have a lot of people who are crushing on you, but they do not have the courage to come up to you and tell you because they feel that you're going to reject them. Okay? And before I end your reading, I just want to tell you that there's something about your hair and your silhouette. Okay? Your body is coming out so strongly in this reading pile number one. Your body, your face and your hair, the way you dress, all of this is somebody's hooked to you for sure and if you have a strong social media presence you're being highly stalked by people there are multiple people who are looking at your images going through your reels multiple times and even if you do not have an open social media or you're not very active on social media you still have people who look at your pictures who imagine a hundred scenarios in their head and they're just living their best delusional life without letting you know that they are crushing on you. But I genuinely feel that you are the talk of the town and you're the it person for a lot many people. All right. So yes, this is what I have for you, pile number one. I hope you liked your reading. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so that whenever I post next, you get notified. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that via Instagram and email. The details for both is in my description box below. I'll catch up with you in the next reading. See ya. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out how are people viewing your glow up and transformation. For you, we have Divine Masculine. star mother that says how can you mother yourself eruption of light radha in reverse here we have wings and then we have ten of pentacles upright okay People are viewing you to be someone who has a perfect balance of masculine and feminine energies. They see you to be such a complete and a wholesome kind of a person that everybody wants to be like you. You might very well be somebody who is in the spotlight in some way or you are going to be in the future. This is what people are talking about. People feel that you are that person who's meant to be famous. You are that person who's meant to have that spotlight on them where you have a lot of people looking up to you. You're coming across to be someone who is a leader. People are viewing your glow up and your transformation to be something that is kind of preparing you to have that center stage, to have that spotlight, to have that authority that you really deserve. You are that person, pile number two, who is very confident. There's something about how you dress up, how you command a room, how you command attention from people without doing much about it. And at the same time, how beautiful and simple you are in terms of taking care of yourself, respecting people, being kind to animals, being gentle with kids, being respectful towards other people, towards just any random person, even if you don't know. There's something about you being a whole package. There's something about 
you not just being beautiful on the outside but also coming across to be someone who has a very beautiful soul so people are viewing your glow up and transformation to be something where you are not just looking good on the outside but it is kind of a reflection of your inner beauty and this is a bit similar to that of pile number 1 i would say so if at all you were confused between 1 and 2 then you can watch pile number 1 as well a lot many people feel that you are on a twin flame journey i'll be very honest you might be seeing a lot of 11s or 11 11 if at all this is the case then so be it but there are people in your vicinity who feel that you're on a twin flame journey or you're meant to be on a twin flame journey there are a lot many people who feel you are their twin flame this is a better way for me to put this message out there that there are people who feel that you are their twin flame because whenever they look at you you make them feel so many intense feelings they've never felt before there is this sense of recognition again i'm getting this message this was in pile number 1 also that there are people who want to wife you up who want to hug you up who want to get married to you because you are that perfect marriage material you are that person who has not just good looks but you also have all the qualities that they need in a partner people feel that you are someone who has everything i mean honestly pile number 2 i don't have a lot to tell you i'll be very honest because i cannot move beyond this point where you know i just feel that people are looking up to you because they feel that you're perfect they feel that you do not have any flaws that your life is a bed of roses i know it's not that everybody has their share of problems or you know everyone goes through ups and downs in their life but people are just looking at the bigger picture people are just i would say kind of judging you and kind of judging you and taking you at face value because you're somebody who comes across to be very confident very self sufficient self assured very content okay there is a lot of contentment to your energy and maybe this is one of the reasons why people feel that you know you have a very perfect life there are people who feel that you have a beautiful family or the bond that you share with your family is amazing it's like a 10 on 10 even if this is not the case but this is what people feel people feel that you have a very good relationship with the masculines and the feminines in your life you do not have any kind of issue that they have in their life okay people people are in awe of how you take care of yourself you know you come across to be somebody who is very spicy on the outside okay you are giving me slayer vibes okay somebody who is a boss babe or a total bad as i would say and people feel that fire when they look at you you have that mars energy to you you could very well have a fire sign as your rising sign okay so this is the energy that you exude but the amount of depth that you have to your personality the amount of warmth the amount of compassion the amount of emotional intelligence that you have to yourself is something that people are in awe of and they really wonder how you switch between these two personalities that you have because on the outside you seem to be someone who's very you know my ring light it just flickered and stopped working and i had to switch it on again and this tells me that this is what you do to people you're very electrifying okay i mean i'm just getting that example of 
a bulb getting fused and that is how strong your energy is. That is how powerful you are. That is what your impact is. So wherever you go, pile number two, you shake the energy there. There's something so solid about you. So yes, I was saying that you are somebody who's very tough on the outside, but on the inside, you're so damn soft. And this is how people are viewing you. You're a high value person. Okay, even if nobody has come up to you and you know, they've let you know that you're not just a beautiful face, you're not just a good looking person. They do understand that you have a beautiful soul too. Then I'm here to tell you that even if people haven't said this to you, they have this realization. They are complimenting you behind your back. There's something about Radha Krishna that I'm getting at this point of time. There is somebody who believes in Radha Krishna, okay? And that particular person feels that you are their twin flame. I know I'm repeating myself, but there is definitely something around Radha Krishna that is coming out very, very strongly in your reading. Either you are a believer of Radha Krishna or there is somebody in your life who believes in Radha Krishna, okay? This is such a sweet message and this is so sweet, file number two. I don't know why am I blushing, but then I'm just feeling happy for you because intuitively I feel very strongly, though I avoid getting into this soulmate twin flame kind of a thing. But then there are very high chances that you probably are on a twin flame journey and you already know who that person is. People are in awe of your beauty. There's something about you looking like somebody sent from heaven, I would say. Your facial features, the way your body looks, okay? Especially if you're somebody who's not very fond of wearing a lot of cover-ups, then there's something about just whatever you wear, it doesn't really matter. There's something about everything looking good on you, okay? Everything looking good on you. And probably that is because you take care of yourself. You take care of your physical appearance. You take care of how you look, how you present yourself, how you're leaving your house. I'm getting this message strongly that people are seeing you in that light where you're coming across to be a goddess especially if you're a woman okay you are exuding the qualities of radharani is the message that i'm getting i know it's a very big thing a very big statement to give but this is genuinely coming from my heart space. So I'm giving it to you. And this actually talks about the heart chakra also at the same time. And people feel that you have a beautiful heart. There's something about you working so much with that energy of self-love and self-care that you've managed to heal your broken heart. You've had a very ugly breakup or a very ugly experience in terms of your love or interpersonal relationships where you've been hurt, where you've been cheated on, where you have, you've been, you've been, you've been deceived by number two. But the amount of work that you've put in when it comes to healing your own heart is so, so beautiful. And the same effort, the same hard work is getting reflected on the outside now. It's getting reflected in the way you carry yourself, in the way you dress up, in the way you smile, in the way you do your makeup, in the way you style your hair, in the way you talk to people, in the way you make people feel in your presence. You have a lot of pink light to you, I would say. You probably have a pink aura, okay? And 
you very well might fluctuate between gold and pink is what I'm getting for you. But there's a lot of pink energy to you, okay? And people are talking about your beauty. Even if you're a man, there's something about your face. There's something about how beautiful you are in the sense that your soul is very beautiful, okay? And that same beauty gets reflected on the outside and you seem to be very attractive to anybody who's looking at you for that matter. There was a time in your life, pile number two, when you needed people, when you needed validation. But now you've reached that stage in your life where you are your own boss, where you do not need that outside validation because you know who you are, because you've understood how powerful you are as a person. You've understood how beautiful of a soul you are. You're no more hiding. You're no more being in your cave. Now you're in that energy when nobody can stop you from shining your light, when nobody can slow down your progress. Because you're meant to fly. And you have become unstoppable and this is how people are viewing you. There is nothing that you cannot do or achieve in your life. This is a very, very, very strong message I'm getting for you, pile number two. I will repeat this again so that it gets stored in your head that there is nothing that you cannot do or achieve in your life. Everything is possible in your world. You are a beautiful, beautiful manifester. So use your magic, use your powers and make your dreams your reality because if it is because if there's someone that can do this seamlessly it's you pile number two okay there's something about your voice the way you talk your voice is very very powerful and soothing at the same time here too, I can feel that blend of energies. I can feel that touch of masculine and feminine. You have a very powerful voice and it is your voice that is going to make you famous. It is the words that you speak, the words that you write that are going to make you famous. It is the way you inspire people. You could very well be a speaker, a writer, or a podcaster, a poet, an author or just a motivational speaker. There's something about you using your voice. You know, your voice has the power to not just change a person, but to create a revolution. That's how powerful you are. And I genuinely see you addressing a large crowd, a huge crowd in the future. And this is how people are viewing you. This is what people expect out of you. This is what your potential is. So if you're someone who wants to be a writer, an author, a poet, a speaker of any sort, a public speaker, a counselor, a psychologist, a coach, a spiritual coach, a spiritual guide, or you know, you just want to be a tarot reader, you want to use your voice. You could very well be a singer for that matter. I mean, wherever your voice is the leader, wherever your voice is playing the role of a lead actor that is where you're going to get your success from because there's something about the way you talk there's something about the quality of your voice the impact your voice has on the system of people the nervous system of people your voice is very very soothing you calm people down. You just make them feel as if they belong somewhere, as if they are understood. And this is your power, pile number two. So the more you're going to work with your voice, the more you're going to use your voice, the more fame 
you're going to attract for yourself fame is something that is going to come to you it doesn't really matter you want it or you don't want it fame is a part of your life and you will experience this because you're meant to okay people have put you up there people have put you on a pedestal and there are people who res- and there are people in your energy field who respect you a lot who might even look up to you as you being their mentor is what i'm getting you have that quality you have it in you pile number 2 so please do not suppress yourself because your throat chakra and your heart chakra is the most beautiful thing about you energetically you're in a very good space i don't know what i'm going to get for pile number 3 but i'm in love with your energy and this doesn't happen a lot many times with pile number 2 where you know where the energy is so so i mean i don't have words i'm being very honest i do not have the right words to explain how i'm feeling at this point of time but just know that there's something about your energy that's very magical that is very alluring you have that quality to make people hook to you you're very addictive i would say unintentionally too there's something about people wanting to listen to you time and again maybe because of the way you explain or the way you talk or the way you make them feel could be anything for that matter but all i'm here to tell you is to use your voice to your advantage okay how people are viewing your glow up see as much as you've grown up physically you've also grown up emotionally spiritually mentally you have all the elements to you you are that one pile today where you have little bit of everything in you and people feel that you're very very privileged okay now i'm getting to the t where people feel that you're very lucky you're very privileged they feel that you have put in the work but still god has been very kind to you you have the best of everything is what people feel if an outsider is going to look at you your life your world they will feel that there's nothing that's lacking in your life you are god's favorite child because i'm again telling you you know how people feel when they look at a celebrity when they you know look at their life they just feel that oh my god look at that celebrity they're so privileged they don't have any problem in their life when reality things are not like that at the end of the day they also are just human beings right so they are going to have their share of problems it's just that they're just doing their job so they have to have that all sorted kind of a thing but then you're giving me that same vibe where people just feel that where people just feel that you're the last person to have any kind of an inconvenience in your life because you are very privileged you have all your needs met all your wants met you also have a lot of luxuries to you you live a very extravagant life okay you any which way are giving me that celebrity energy so people feel that you are that celebrity you are that you are that person who is just up there and that's about it and they feel that you know they're just looking at your glow up and transformation with a bit of jealousy i'll be very honest so please pile number 2 i would advise you to clear your energy field quite often if it's possible please do it every day especially if you are meeting a lot of people or you are very active on your social media then you should definitely cleanse your energy your space every day and wear a protection crystal bracelet an anklet or a pendant it's a must for you 
it is very very important for you to do these two things because you need it okay you have a lot of eyes on you and it is because of your outside and inside beauty and your lifestyle and your aura all right there are a lot of people who want to be like you who want to emulate you who might even be emulating you at this point of time but again you are you and you're very confident in yourself i do not see you being insecure or just even being bothered about anything on these lines so that is again a good thing when it comes to you but then yeah i mean overall you do have some energies who do not like you being so content and so so sorted in your life i would say you give me free spirit vibes okay you do not care i just feel pile number 2 you do not care you just care about your happiness or this is how people are seeing you to be that you care about your happiness and even after being so in that energy of choosing yourself you're happy so yeah i mean this is it this is it this is what i have for you pile number 2 beautiful energy once again and i would love to know who you are and yes if you liked our reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pal number 3 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out how are people viewing your glow up and transformation for you we have celebration the ever unfolding rose that says cracked open it's happening for you not to you riding the cosmic wave four of swords or just in reverse and here we have gold that says you don't need someone else to fix you are you a healer pile number 3 a healer a tarot reader or anyone from the healing industry could very well be a doctor a psychologist a counselor somebody who is into astrology someone who is into any kind of modality for that matter because i'm getting some strong strong healer vibes from your reading pile number 3 how people are viewing your glow up and transformation is that you are a very happy go lucky kind of a person okay you are someone who is very nonchalant not in a very i would say irresponsible kind of a way or a very naive kind of a way not at all you're someone who is very very mature but has an active inner child and your inner child is the most beautiful and and weird thing about you i was just looking for a different word but then this is something that came very naturally because i feel you're very giggly you're very young at heart okay and you enjoy life you live your life See, there are two types of people one are those who are just surviving and the second are those who are actually living and you are in that category you are in that zone where you're living your life you're not merely surviving or existing and that is how people are viewing you you might not always have been this way you might not have been so celebratory or you know just very sunflowery kind of a person i am just imagining somebody who loves flowers and you know 
who loves the little things in life this is the energy that i'm getting from you that's very joyful very very joyful kind of an energy you're very vivacious you're very smiley you're that kind of a person that wherever you go you light up that space there's something about your smile okay there's something about the way you laugh there's something about your giggles there's something about you being very naughty and naughty in a very childlike kind of a manner and it's a very cute energy to you pile number 3 not many people are in touch with their inner child especially as we grow old okay we become so concerned or i would say so burdened with the responsibilities with whatever is expected out of us that it gets very difficult for people to be in touch with their inner child or to cater to their inner child but you are that person who doesn't give a dime about anything except for you living your best life and this is such an empowering energy to be in very inspiring yeah pile number 3 very 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 inspiring i would say okay there are very high chances that you have achieved something big in your life or you are going to achieve something big in life because you're giving me that achiever energy you're giving me the energy of a winner and this is how people are viewing you your glow up definitely revolves around some kind of an achievement and if you've not had this phase or this experience to you then you are going to have for sure okay either four months from now or upcoming four months from whenever you're watching this reading are very very significant for you to have your moment of glory to feel that you know what yes i did it okay and this could come in any shape way or form how people are viewing your glow up and transformation is that you know you are that person who has managed to turn your pain into power you have managed to turn your pain into power and now you have become friends with your pain so much that you alchemize it so beautifully i mean you giving me oh, you leaving me speechless by number 3 and this doesn't happen very often but it's happening because there's something to your energy that is very otherworldly that is very strong okay and strong in not a very forceful kind of a way strong in the sense of the frequency at which you vibrate okay it is not of this plane i would say you're a healer and even if you are not professionally you will go down this path for sure you will go down this path in the future and this is what people are talking about because the way you have dealt with pain in your life the way you have transformed that pain into your power that pain into you surrendering to the universe you know there is this beauty to you where you do not fight if things are not working out in your life you're that person who knows when to detach when to surrender and when to kind of you know push forward you have this knowing and this is what people are talking about because there's something about you having blind faith in the universe having blind faith in divine timing in the way the universe works you know that if things are not working out for you then it is happening for you and not something that is happening to you you do not victimize yourself and people are realizing this people are seeing you transform into such a powerful person who is going to smile regardless of what is happening in their life because they know 
that eventually it is happening for them and this is such a powerful energy to be in and it is very difficult to be in the zone let me tell you that but people are looking at you as if you're a master at this you are someone who's just going with the flow you are not worried about what you're going to do 5 years from now where you're going to be 5 years from now what's your 10 year plan i mean you are that person who's not in a rush your soul is not in a rush pile number 3 and i don't know why i'm feeling so sleepy when i'm reading for you either you need a lot of sleep or you are feeling very sleepy these days and if you are feeling very sleepy or you feel that you know you feel tired and you think you need rest then yes you definitely need rest because the other cards are giving this message only that it is time for you to take a nap or it is time for you to rest more because i was so damn active in the other two piles but when i'm reading for you i'm feeling very drowsy and i don't know why i'm feeling so drowsy it's like i just want to lie down and i just want to sleep i'm feeling so damn tired suddenly and people are viewing you in a similar energy where they feel that you've done the work okay whatever hard work was to be done it's done by you and now is the time for you to just chill take a chill pill and probably that is what you're doing so if you're not working that hard if you're not pushing your buttons all the time if you're not running on your toes 24/7 that is because you've done that you have done the work and now is the time for you to reap the rewards it's all about when it's the right time for you to receive your blessings so people are viewing you to be in that energy of you being a chiller you being someone who is a bit laid back and that is because you know that when the time is right the universe is going to do its bit because you have done your bit in your pile i'm genuinely feeling very sleepy and i just feel that there's nothing extravagant that's there for me to tell you because people are viewing your glow up and your transformation to be something that is very very it's like it's like i don't know it's it's giving me that feeling of you know me being on an island or just watching the waves the tides and looking at the ocean looking at the moon and taking a chill pill going on a vacation because i know that i need this break i need this rest i've done so much of hard work in so many different areas of my life and now is the time for me to just take care of myself people feel that you are that person who takes care of yourself not on a superficial level but in a very spiritual kind of a way where you take out time for meditation where you read books where you focus on your diet where you're careful with the food that goes in, goes inside your system where you do yoga you exercise or you take care of your physical vessel because you know that you know it is important for you to be fit not just physically but also mentally emotionally and spiritually so people are seeing how beautifully you've transformed and glowed up using spirituality using meditation using chanting connecting with a deity or just connecting with the different frequencies with higher vibrations and making this a part of your everyday life because if you did not take this support you wouldn't have been where you are today so people know that whatever is happening in your life however far you've come in your life it is because you have a spiritual practice you have a routine to you you maintain yourself spiritually and you make sure that you are learning about different things in different aspects you are not running behind anything that is too materialistic doesn't mean that you do not like luxury 
or you're not into money no i'm not trying to say that what i'm trying to say is you know how to attract because you understand that money is energy so you are that person who works with energies and you know how to alchemize you know how to play with those energies you know how to work with different elements that is why again i'm getting that your soul is not in a rush because your soul knows that anything that is meant for you is not going to pass you by and everything that you're meant to have is going to come to you in divine timing this is what you live by and this is how people are viewing you so if you come across to be very chill very peaceful very calm and very you know to yourself living your best life always giggling always laughing it's because of your belief system it's because of your everyday practice it's because of the amount of hours you spend in taking care of your spiritual body in taking care of that balance between your mind body and spirit okay whatever work you have done you have done it without any mentor you've just used spirituality you've worked with the energies you've worked with yourself your intuition and you have managed to reach that stage in your life where you've become that nonchalant version of yourself where you're no more in that energy of needing somebody to lean back on or to fall back on or you know just wanting to be with people so that you feel that you are loved or so that you feel that you belong somewhere you have transformed in a way pile number 3 where your alone time is the best time where your spiritual practices make you the happiest you giving me very geeky nerdy vibes in terms of you being a green witch or a white witch you could very well be a kitchen witch also pile number 3 maybe you work with herbs or you're a very good cook or whatever you do you set an intention there's something about you using affirmations a lot or you setting intentions in your coffee praying over your food or just doing these little tiny bits and tits here and there that that just works wonders for you and i'm not saying this it's the people around you who've observed you doing these little things where you are you know working with the universe using nature using herbs using just the elements or just little practices there's something about you setting intention in your water in your coffee i don't know i'm just getting this energy very very strongly and you're a very powerful witch okay you're a very very powerful white witch a green witch also for some of you and i just feel that people know people know that you have spiritual gifts and they are understanding how important spirituality is because the way it is shaped to you they know that it wouldn't have happened if you did not choose this path for yourself people also feel that the more you sleep the better you look okay i think you are that person who needs more sleep than an average individual and probably that is because you are so energy sensitive and see the moment i said you're energy sensitive the candle on the right is gone okay and this genuinely tells me that this is what happens when you don't sleep that is because you work with the energy so damn strongly and you are a very very powerful healer pile number 3 and you're going to become a huge name in your field of work okay and people know this that is how people view you 
people view you to be somebody who's a very powerful healer and who's very good at what they do and even if you're not a professional healer you give off this vibe there's something about you that is that kind of pushes people to make some solid changes in their life so that they can become a better version of themselves so you're giving me that teacher vibes you're giving me the vibe of someone who a lot of people depend on because you show them the way so you are creating this new earth over here where you're teaching people how to live life and how to love the life that you've been gifted how to follow the calling of your soul and just live in the present moment and this is how people are seeing your glow up and they are viewing your transformation they're taking inspiration from you they're making notes that you know what if pile number 3 can do this 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 then so can i and let me just try you never know so you are doing your bit because this is what you're here to do you're here to create change and you are definitely definitely doing that pile number 3 if people can take anything from you they would love to take your spirit i'm telling you and genuinely i'm telling you because the kind of spirit that you have ah it is magical it is magical and you make everything look so fancy and there's a lot of gratitude to your energy even if you are looking at the sky the amount of happiness that's going to be there on your face is something that makes people smile so you are just like a child and this is your most lovable and adorable trait quality or anything you can say for that matter but people are really viewing your glow up and transformation as something that is very inspiring and as something that they should learn from all right so yeah overall this is what i have for you pile number 3 i hope you liked your reading if you did please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya